Hello, my name is Jeff Kruken. I'm the former executive director of the Space Frontier Foundation. And uh, most recently, in the beginning of this year, uh, after leaving that job, I have started my uh, new space business development practice. I'm also the communications director for Team Stellar, which is in North Carolina and is one of the competitors for the Google Lunar X Prize. Excellent. So we're here at the New Space 2008 conference, which is an annual conference put on by the Space Frontier Foundation, with whom you used to work. So I wonder if you could just talk to us a little bit uh, about this conference and your experiences at it this year and in past years. <laughs> experiences <laughs> in, in one way is totally different. And I've, I've had several people ask me, how does it feel to be here for the first time in three years and not have this overwhelming responsibility on your shoulders you know, along with, the, with Will, the, the conference chair, but to have spent so much time preparing and running for it, whereas this year, I don't have to do that. So I get to have a totally different experience. I get to be here as an attendee. I get to actually sit in on a lot of the sessions, which is tough to do when, when, when uh, I was executive director. So I've enjoyed it in a way, uh, Will, that I haven't been able to before. And uh, what I found particularly compelling, especially uh, this morning were some of the real heartfelt discussions by entrepreneurs in the new space industry about the challenges and the risks and, and even I'd say even the traumas of, of what we all do and I found that so very compelling and, and, and wonderful uh, to hear so I've really appreciated that part of the conference this year and and that's been an even stronger part this year than in the last couple of years and I've been glad to see that excellent uh, you got a question on the uh, online forum on GoogleLunarXPrize.org, and I will admit it was from me, uh, <laughs> about whether or not there were any or might be any in the future official connections between Space Frontier Foundation and Team Stellar. And one reason I asked that was that Odyssey Moon, another one of our teams, has formed a relationship with the Planetary Society who will be helping them do education and outreach. Is there anything like that in the cards? There's nothing in the, in the cards for that, that that's imminent. Uh, and really, from the point of view of, of the Space Frontier Foundation, there hasn't been any, uh, any formal interest expressed in aligning with either Team Stellar or any of the others. And, and I haven't used my tremendous former powers, or my tremendous powers from being an executive director in that regard either. So right now, they are, they are separate entities, and my involvement uh, with the two is, is separate. Perfect. Now, I, I recall from seeing you at, I think, at, maybe at this conference in previous years, you've long been an advocate of space in the state of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, and Team Stellar seems to be sort of the North Carolina all-stars. So can you talk to us about, about why you feel North Carolina has such a good uh, potential for space and what's going on there, both in the context of Stellar and, and outside? Well, certainly. Uh, I guess to begin with, uh, you mentioned the work I've been doing in North Carolina which started actually before I became executive director of the Space Frontier Foundation as I was looking to do some very space related consulting engagements and I ended up receiving two grants in, uh, in North Carolina, uh, both uh, one from NC State and one from the North Carolina Space Grant and that was all pertaining to understanding does North Carolina have the corporate assets the research and development assets, the academic assets, to be a real player in the new space industry? Does it have any kind of an aerospace and aviation industry? And the answer is yes, it does. Not like a California or a Texas or a Florida, but it's clearly there and there's clearly possibility. Plus when you add to that the tremendous uh, U.S. military presence in North Carolina and its growing interest in the capabilities of, of new space as new space evolves, so there's a lot of interest and there is also capability and it's just a question of bringing those two together and, and that's an ongoing process it's not going to happen quickly uh, there are those who see um, uh, global trans park as a potential future commercial spaceport in north carolina there are those who look out at the pimlico sound area on the coast as an area that could be a future commercial spaceport so there's a lot of talking and ideas going on uh, more to the to Team Stellar part of your question, uh, and I do want to emphasize that although we are based in North Carolina, we really want to make this a Southeast regional effort. So we are reaching out to uh, Georgia Tech, for example. We are already engaged with Virginia Tech. We're also engaged with 
one or more high schools, and I'm sorry, I can't remember the names, in, in Southern uh, Virginia that we connected with through the the robotics competition, I forget the name First of it. First robotics? Thank you, First Robotics that was held in Richmond a few months ago. So we have found a tremendous upwelling of interest on the part of not only college students, both graduate and, and undergraduate, but high school as well, uh, especially because of the robotics uh, element of this. So for all of those reasons, uh, the people that formed Team Stellar, and, and I was not part of that original group, although I, I know the people, but they, they should you know, get the credit for the fact that they're the ones that made that happen and then asked me to be a part of that. There's absolutely a belief that, that all the elements I just mentioned, uh, that if you bring together the academic, the corporate, uh, R&D, that there really is the potential for North Carolina to become a, a major new space state and that maybe Team Stellar will help facilitate that. Maybe Team Stellar will help get that potential out to political leaders and business leaders and economic development leaders in North Carolina who don't yet see the potential for, for new space, but maybe Team Stellar will you know, open a few more eyes. So all of that is sort of connected, and absolutely. Excellent.